Ladies and gentlemen, today we are working on solving multi-step or two-step inequalities, which is 11-5. We're talking about this one kid who we don't know named Jakai. He's not in this class, apparently. Um, he wants to run at least 275 miles before football season begins in the fall time. He's already run 25 miles as part of his 275 miles of training. He plans to run two and a half miles each day until the season begins. What is the fewest number of days he needs to reach his goal, write an inequality, and solve? What is the fewest number of days he needs to reach his goal? Christina, you got the inequality, right? Yes. How did you write it? I wrote um, 250, and I got that. Wait a minute. Before you wrote the inequality, did you write down some information, or did yes. you just go straight to it? I wrote X. X is what we want to know, right? Yep, equal the number of days that he needs to reach his goal. Okay, fewest number of days, right? Okay, so fewest number of days to go. Did you write anything else down? Um, no. No. Did anybody else write anything else down? Michael? Um, my said 275 was the um, amount of miles he needs to run. 275 equals... Goal miles. Yeah. We'll say the miles to his goal, so we'll call it goal miles. Anybody else write anything else down besides that? Abby? He's already 25 miles. 25 equals miles run already. Okay, that's cool. That's what I wrote down. What? 2.5 Oh, yeah. That's cool, too. 2.5 equals miles per day, and at least that's his plan, right? Because yeah. he plans to. That might not happen, but that's the plan. So, Christina, back to you. What is your formula? Or what is your inequality? I wrote um, 250 because he already ran 25 miles. So, so we wrote, you wrote 250. Is greater than or equal to? Is greater than or equal to? 2.5x. 2.5 miles x. Okay. What? You good with that? Uh, so should we solve it? They're telling you it's wrong. Well, let's see if it's wrong. The great thing about inequalities here is you wrote it and you, it looks like you have some good information here. If your inequality is flipped because that's the hardest part of writing these, we can figure that out in the end, right, Christina? Yeah. So what do you want to do? Um, divide by 2.5. Divide by 2.5. Divide by 2.5. And Christina? That equals 100 is greater than or equal to x. So x would be, let's see what, so that's your final answer, right? Yes. The fewest number of days to the goal would be 100 is equal to x or x is less than 100. So x is either going to be 100 or less. Could it be less if he's running 2.5 miles per day? Could he run? Could he do it in less than 100 days? If he plans to run 2.5 miles per day. Yes. <laughs> if he ran, plan, ran, pl, rub a book. If he plans to run 2.5 miles per day, it would take him 100 days at the minimum, right? Yeah. So x could be 100, or it could be less than 100. Does that make sense? Or x could be 100, or x could be more than 100, right? Because it says he plans to run 2.5 miles per day. So he could run more. Yeah, because what if he skips a day? Then we're, are we at 100 days or are we at 101 days? 101 days. Yeah, so if he's running 2.5 miles every day and he runs 100 straight days in a row, that's the fastest he'll reach his goal. So what do you know, Christina? What are you going to do? Um, flip the inequality. Flip the inequality. So let's flip it and let's talk through it one more time. So then we're going to say 250 is less than, less than or equal to 2.5x. So x is the fewest number of days to reach the goal. So x could equal 100, or x could be more than 100. Yes. If he's only running 2.5 miles a day, it can't be any less than 100. It's got to be at least 100 or more. So x has got to be at least. 100, or x has got to be more than 100. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Anybody write their equal? Are there inequality differently? Because I did not write it like that. I would be cool with that though. I would be cool with that. I like to write them with a little bit more like drawn out. Issa, what'd you write? I wrote 275. Okay, hold on. So you don't have to write this down. You wrote 275, which is his goal, right? Yep. Is less than or equal to? Is less than or equal to? 25. 25, which he's already run. Plus 2 and 5 tenths n. Who wrote it like that? I wrote it like that. That's actually kind of the way I hope you guys do start writing them because you're actually using everything. You're using all of this information. The way Christina wrote it, wrote it is she combined the 275 and the 25 without really showing it. As I said, I'm going to be okay with that because I think these are hard enough. But I like the fact that this is his goal, 275. It's going to be less than or equal to the 25 miles he run or ran plus 2.5 miles per day. And then to get to what Christina got to, we subtract 25 from both sides, and we got 250 is less than or equal to 2.5x, right? Yes. Yeah. And then you go from there. Questions, comments, quandaries, quibbles, quotes, or queries? That is.